You've heard about ChatGPT. You've heard about Google Bard. But today, the AI game just changed forever, with the newest GPT in town entering the market. Well, one that is yet to be launched, but has already created waves in the AI space. And you need to know about it, because this new GPT is specifically tailored towards investors and traders. The future of the financial market is undoubtedly embedded in AI. JP Morgan's recent survey indicates that over half of institutional traders expect AI and machine learning to play pivotal roles in this space in the future. And due to their acknowledgement of this, they've decided to launch their first official AI chatbot, which is being dubbed as the next frontier in fintech. Here's all that you need to know. JP Morgan is one of the biggest global financial services firms in the world. With over $2.6 trillion of assets under management, it is officially the US's biggest bank. JP Morgan filed for an index GPT trademark with the United States Patent and Trademark Office on May 11, 2023. The trademark application describes index GPT as an AI software service that can be used for the selection of financial securities and financial assets. This is crazy because Theoretically, it could be used to give investment advice and trading strategies to retail clients. Imagine the scaling and demand potential here for this kind of service. Trademark lawyer Josh Gerben said JP Morgan is trying to put my financial advisor out of business as the program could have capabilities to select financial securities. JP Morgan is betting big here. JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon said that they're assigning over 2,000 professionals ranging from data managers to machine learning engineers to focus on developing AI strategies. He emphasized the importance of leveraging cloud-based systems to enhance the efficiency and cost-effectiveness of their operations, stating that native cloud-based approaches will ultimately be faster, cheaper, and aligned with the newest AI techniques. It's still too early to say exactly how Index GPT will work or what exact features it will have. However, the trademark application suggests that Index GPT could be used to provide investment advice, create investment portfolios, and identify trends in financial markets. Pretty cool stuff. But what does it mean for other major players in the AI space like ChatGPT and Bard? Well, in a broader sense, Index GPT could drive innovation to the field of natural language processing or NLP, which is basically the branch of AI that gives computers the ability to understand text and spoken words in much the same way humans being can. This is what iterations like Bard and ChatGPT have been able to implement to varying levels of success. But when it comes to financial markets, responses have to be really refined and specific in order to provide accurate information. Thus, it will focus JP Morgan to focus specifically on developing strong NLP. This could ultimately lead to improvements in the performance of ChatGPT and Bard as they would be forced to compete with more sophisticated NLP models. Remember, as a whole, like any industry, competition is good for the development of the AI industry as it forces industry participants to keep on innovating. Now, specifically in terms of its direct impact on ChatGPT and Bard, we have to ask ourselves, what percentage of the market will want a finance-focused AI product? I think quite a lot of people, but the addressable market here is still significantly smaller than the broader use cases for AI, such as productivity, research, study, writing, etc. Financial licensing is another concern. Assuming JP Morgan does build a usable product here, it will likely need custom regulation to ensure it complies with financial rules and regulations. ChatGPT and Bard may choose to abstain from acquiring this licensing as finance isn't directly tied to their niche. But even if they do choose to compete in the finance niche, here's the one thing that could set JB Morgan apart, their access to financial intel and financial data. As they're a major financial institution with significant resources, they have access to a large amount of financial data, which may aid their ability to develop more sophisticated investment strategies than their competitors. It'll be interesting to see how ChatGPT and Bard developers respond to the development of Index GPT. Will they continue to develop their own models or will they collaborate 
Would the index GPT developers or borrow ideas from them? Will they add new features to their models or will they focus on developing new applications? Only time will tell. It'll be interesting to see how index GPT develops and how it's actually used by investors because AI does at the end of the day, as JP Morgan said, have the potential to revolutionize the finance industry. And index GPT could be one of the first products to show how AI, especially in a retail sense, can be used to improve investment outcomes. Now, if you're interested in investing or trading, our show partner Prime XBT allows you to trade crypto, Forex or commodities. Just for viewers of this show, they're offering a massive $7,000 deposit bonus for new users. And if you're a regular trader, you can also get a 25% discount on trading fees using the link in the description. After you've claimed your initial sign up bonus, you can actually head over to the rewards page to earn additional rewards of 5, 10, 25, 60, and $500 just for completing basic tasks. So that's $600 of additional rewards. There's a link in the description to Prime XBT if you would like to check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this style of content, let me know in the comments below which AI topic you'd like me to cover next. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, have a lovely day. Peace out.